So we could go that way, but we wouldn't get very far, I don't think. So let's go this way first. I see ya. Extremely hazardous. Well, yeah, it's acid. Great poison comes from Talon's core. That which fouls the water seeks the sun. Runic symbols in this room must be activated. We shall do that. Oh, uh, wait, I know where it is. Water once flowed here. I think I know where it is. It's right by the. Uh, oh, I'm about to get smacked. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Door opened. Host plant appears to thrive on toxic water. I suppose it could have mutated to do that. You mutate to adapt to your surroundings, after all. Hey, charge beam! Disaster struck suddenly. We had a vague, dark foreboding, and it became truth. A meteor appeared from nowhere, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land with the violence of its impact. The destructive force spent, the fallen star burned itself out rapidly, and the incident should have faded into memory. But the meteor brought with it corruption. A great poison burst forth into the land, a strange energy that clawed at natural life with a ferocity. The strange negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded to compass Talon for in a night, as a spider weaves a web. We're getting there. Charge beam acquired. Now the ions have woken up, we can test start our new toy. Well, so much for them. Some shriek bats may have spawned on the opposite side. The 
poisonous gas from the these uh, blast caps doesn't seem as noticeable as it was in the original. It was like a dark green mist. Doesn't seem to last nearly as long, but I could be imagining that. Yeah, that, that fades away in like no time now. It's still so weird that you fire like three times in a row. Oh, dang it. There is another door above this one, but we can't access it without the space jump. Once we get bombs and pass through here, we can just uh, use that instead of having to deal with the ions each time. Stone Toad preys on creatures smaller than itself, vulnerable only from within. Preys upon creatures smaller than itself, inhaling them whole. Anything it finds indigestible, it regurgitates. So just don't get near it in morph ball form, basically, until we get bombs. Which I think we're about to do, actually. Oh boy! Now this... is the incinerator drone, programmed for high temperature waste disposal. The device schematics indicate a high risk of malfunction when internal power core is damaged. The unit has minimal co combat programming, but can defend itself if necessary. Intense heat blast compensates for its lack of battle prowess. Alright, so another species of war wasp. Barbed War Wasp has the ability to launch its stinger at prey. This insect can propel the tip of its stinger up to 20 meters. The stinger tip regrows seconds after launch, containing an acidic compound designed to pre-digest prey. Chozo designed this thing to deal with these war wasps, but all it's doing is agitating them to attack us.
Got it. Morph Ball Bomb acquired. Yes, we also regained the ability to do Morph Ball jumps as well. Jump Ball. used to have to rely on using morph ball jumps in this game, in the original game. Now we can kill these stone toads. I've always liked the music that starts playing when it's like puzzle time. Okay, that completes this area. don't go down this way. Is there anything of interest? Uh, no. Basically. Just another way to reach that bomb slot. Now, this room coming up here, I always used to worry about in the original game because, um, there was, like, a random chance that when you were going through it, it would just cra the game would just freeze and crash, and I'm not really sure why. At least if you were like walking full speed through it. So I always like I always ended up taking this room like really slow, just because I was afraid of the game freezing on me, and me having to do stuff over. I don't know if that was just my copy of the game or if that was just like a known issue, but. That's definitely something I remember. Alright, another energy tank. So we will have to come back this way eventually, once we have the spider ball. I would be shocked if that bug is still in the game. I really hope not. <laughs> I already have a complex about it in the original. Now we can just ignore these ions entirely by taking the shortcut. I 
I hear a power up. Always listen for that telltale sound. That means that there's a power up nearby. Now we do have actually we do actually have everything we need to fight this area's first boss. Well, fight the first real main boss of the game. But now that we have morph ball bombs, there's stuff we can do. So we should go do that. was weird. First place we'll go is here. guys can actually go through the tunnel. That's amusing. I've always loved the heat effect that comes off of your gun sometimes when you fire it, when you like rapid fire it. It's a cool little detail. Lost, don't bug us while we're doing this. Oh, yeah, gotta do this part over here, too. Because those metal ones can't be destroyed. Got it.
There we go. Another missile expansion. Did I get some momentum from that? I think I got a little bit. So we cannot break, we won't be able to break that for some time. To Oculus. Wall crawler, crawler that generates electric pulses. The extra full field that covered it is enough to deter most predators. To next, anything capable of presenting a real threat, it attracts into its impermeable shell. The cries of this dying land echo in our ears as we chose to watch the great poison seep ever further into the living pulse of the planet. The dark energy sinks into the trees and waters, devouring all life. Peaceful beasts die by the thousands. Some creatures survive, but their fromes grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. Many of these mutated monstrosities remain small enough to do little harm, but others grow enormous and threaten our very existence. One such beast defiles our sacred fountain, disgorging poison from its foul form, replacing pure flowing water with decades of creeping death. Even in the face of such horror, we Chozo do not turn in fear. We are all that stands in the way of this great poison, and it is our duty to contain it. So it's talking about the poisonous water in this area. is a vague thing, ever-changing and always in doubt. Even if we Chozo could gain the ability to foresee the future, it would be a hollow gift, for we could never hope to control what has yet to occur. The fountain is an example of this. The day may come when its waters dries up and there is nothing we could do but to stop such a tragedy. But we do know this. Unlike the uncertain flow of water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Chozo will never run dry. And these Chozo, they sure were a brave people. So we're gonna have to bomb these three locks open. Let's see if I can do this without jumping. Yeah! Although it's just much easier with, uh, <laughs> with jump ball. But I've gotten so used to the timing that it's like second nature to me now. And 
another energy tank for our troubles. Alright, so we're going to take this opportunity to return to our sh ship. See ya, boys! Just passing through. Let's return to our ship. First things first. There's another missile expansion right behind our ship. in the drink there. At least now we can partially enter uh, the impact crater. I remember this door taking forever to load, but it looks like not anymore. Throughout our living nightmare, as we battle with this unyielding darkness, we chose Osea Light. The slight glows with promise, chasing the shadows cast by the great poison and purifying that which has grown toxic. It is strange, though at times it looks to our eyes as if the light coalesces into the figure of a woman. Burning brightly, the luminescence descends from space, then retreats back into the infinite blackness from whence it came. When this prophecy comes to pass, when the light recedes, the Cho Chozo's long vigilance of containment will finally come to an end. Containment of the Great Poison. This task has fallen to the Chozo, and we will not flee from our duty, even as we suffer, with the land and its creatures. We will pour our will into the Twelve, the artifacts which form the lock that holds this great evil at bay in the depths of the planet. This lock must stand up to all who might come to assault it. To preserve the power of the seal and to protect it from those who would meddle for their own designs, we will spread the artifacts across the land, hiding them from prying eyes. The lock must never open until the day comes when this disaster can finally be put right. Dozo artifact. Collect it, then scan the totems here for clues on locations on the remaining artifacts. They will open a path to the center of the impact crater. The artifact of truth, the first of twelve. So yes, once we find the the remaining eleven artifacts. We'll be able to open a path to the impact crater. I'm not actually going to read these because I know where pretty much all of them are. They're basically just clues to find them. And the more you find, the more clues that you can unlock for the remaining ones. 